Hello, welcome back. Uh, in this uh, video, we'll understand how our test deployment environment look like for our particular project. As you know, in the last video, we have chosen the application Moodle, a learning management system to be our application under test. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how this Moodle be installed on what kind of hardware and from where do we get hardware and so on. All right. So as you say, like uh, this Moodle software, so this is a open source e-learning application and this software runs on top of a LAMP stack and what is LAMP? Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP and Perl. All right. And this is a very popular uh, web techn technology stack that is also free and open source. And this instead of Linux, we also can run on Windows. Okay. So for our testing purpose, we will use a Linux machine. All right, and then the Moodle architecture is something like this: that uh, you know there will be a database where it will store the persistence data about the course, about the users, and so on. And that database is on MySQL. Okay, so this is a database machine. And then we will have a web server, and that web server will have also PHP module installed. Okay, so that web server with PHP module, let's say this is Apache web server, it's a very popular open source web server, plus PHP 5.0 software already installed in it. Okay, and let's this is let's call this as web server, and this is our database tier. So these two combined, these two combined consist our system and system under test on which once you install Moodle you are ready to test and also to test we need some client softwares right so these are client software C1 let's say C2 and C3 and this client software will use a popular tool called load runner that is HP load runner Okay. Also, we'll, we also we can use something called Apache JMeter. Okay. So you'll use one of this tool or maybe both to load test this application. We'll simulate a internet cloud between the client to our test environment. All right. That means we'll simulate a real life network between the client and the uh, server. Okay. So whatever I draw this diagram if I put in a nice picture that's how it's going to look like so these are my client tiers which is on Windows then through the internet they are connecting to my system under test which is web tier and a database tier and this software stack is called LAMP okay and then uh, as I told you this is a my this is a MySQL DB and this is a Apache web server with PHP installed in it Right. and then on top of that we are installing the Moodle system okay so next thing is that what kind of hardware we need like you know what kind of machines that we need if you uh, are aware of something called Amazon web services or in short it's called AWS okay so if you have not gone through Amazon web services and this is the first time that we are hearing about this then this is the website to go aws.amazon.com and then in AWS Amazon.com you can get different types of machine okay so for example one type of machine is called m1.small so m1.small is a 32 bit or 64 bit processor architecture it has one CPU and it has 1.7 gigabyte memory okay so what essentially we are going to do we are going to get a machine from Amazon EC2 and for the testing purpose we want to use all this client tier on Windows and we will choose a small instance that means it has two, one CPU and 1.7 gigahertz we will, you will choose maybe three of them as our client with load runner or JMeter installed on it okay and that can drive the load to the web tier which is on a medium instance which is on a medium instance and this is about 3.7 gigabyte and 2 CPU similarly we can use DB tier as a medium 
and we'll start with a medium and basically depending on our uh, our testing result and so on we can we can change the the instance type okay it is so easy in aws that even you cannot imagine all right and then it will be 3.7 gigahertz and two cpu okay and then each of them will have about uh, 320 gb hard drive but we don't really care about the hard drive for this web tier what you care about hard, hard drive for database tier is 320 gb all right and this is how your system is going to look like and then we also trying to see instead of using mysql also we can use a very popular database called oracle okay so at this time i am still debating if i'm going to use mysql or oracle by default whenever you install whenever you get the module it is supported on mysql however we need to change couple of things so that we can also test the, the popular oracle database in it all right so this will be apache and then oracle all right and whatever i told you about this configurations and all those things if i write those things in a nice way this is how it's going to look like this is my hardware in my client tier i'm going to have small instance in my web tier i'll have a large instance and the m1.large is the instance type okay so as i told you this is the site that you can go m1.small m1.large xlarge and all those things all right so uh, in the operating system the client will be run on ms windows 2008 and in the web tier we are going to use ubuntu 12.04 which is the latest stable ubuntu release at this time all right for software we are going to use either jmeter or load runner and in the web tier we are going to use apache with php5 and then in db tier we are going to use oracle 11 gr2 or mysql okay and as you see this is a very interesting configuration and also a very interesting software that we are going to test in the next set of videos we will show you how to set it up thank you